Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic day. We've got a lot of ground to cover today, including some significant developments in Congress and the broader political landscape. First off, there's the exciting possibility of a $1.200 per month raise for all Social Security beneficiaries currently on the table. We'll be taking a deep dive into the specifics of the proposed bill, the chances of it passing, and more. But before we get into the nitty-gritty details, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a moment to hit that like button. It goes a long way in supporting the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, well, what are you waiting for? Also, check out the pinned comment and the description for some links to get a few free stocks. It's a win-win. Now, let's jump into the latest updates. The GOP House majority is facing some setbacks with the unexpected resignation of former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. This decision comes on the heels of his removal from the speakership a couple of months ago, highlighting internal issues within the party. With the House GOP majority already historically slim, McCarthy's departure adds a layer of uncertainty, especially considering recent expulsions. The upcoming special elections in 2024 will play a pivotal role in determining the balance of power, influencing the ability to pass crucial bills, and even raising questions about the potential impeachment of President Joe Biden. In another headline-grabbing development, Hunter Biden, son of President Joe Biden, finds himself in legal hot water facing indictments on tax charges. These charges, brought by special counsel David Weiss in California, include three felony tax charges for tax evasion and filing a false return, along with six misdemeanor charges for failure to pay taxes between 2016 and 2019. The allegations paint a picture of a four-year tax evasion scheme with Hunter Biden accused of avoiding payment of at least $1.4 million in federal taxes and indulging in personal expenses funded by millions withdrawn from his company, sidestepping tax obligations. Now, let's shift our focus to the main topic of today's video, the proposed $200 per month increase for all Social Security beneficiaries. This initiative is part of the Social Security Expansion Act, spearheaded by Senator Bernie Sanders. This comprehensive bill, introduced in both the Senate and the House, not only aims for the $1.200 per month increase, but also includes various other provisions. For those receiving the special minimum benefit, the increase would be a substantial 25% above the federal poverty line, translating to an additional $485 per month. As for the rest, it's a $200 per month boost. The burning question on everyone's mind, can this bill pass? Well, the political landscape poses some formidable challenges. In the House, a simple majority is required for a bill to pass, with the GOP currently holding a slim two-seat majority and no Republicans supporting the bill, the chances seem bleak. The Senate presents an even greater hurdle, demanding a supermajority of 60 votes. Given the lack of Republican support and the current Democratic majority of 51, the bill faces an uphill battle. Looking into the future, the potential passage of this bill hinges on a complex set of factors. Democrats would need to secure a simple majority in the House and gain nine more seats in the Senate a task easier said than done. The intricate dance of political maneuvering will determine the fate of this proposed increase for Social Security beneficiaries. In conclusion, our journey through today's updates has been nothing short of enlightening. From the potential $200 per month raise for Social Security beneficiaries to the intricate political landscape marked by the resignation of former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and the legal challenges faced by Hunter Biden, we've covered a spectrum of significant events. The proposed Social Security Expansion Act, led by Senator Bernie Sanders, brings with it the promise of financial relief for recipients, but the path to its enactment is fraught with challenges. The current slim majority held by the GOP in the House and the intricate Senate voting requirements make the bill's passage a formidable task, dependent on future political shifts. 